Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. And yes, I have been tinkering. Now let's check out this beauty, little little beauty here. It's called a timer block. And right now it's just basically doing itself an endless loop. What I've done is I've got the, the rotor set to be powered at a certain velocity. I don't know what it was, like 5 RPM or something. And then I just got the, the timer block here set for every second. It's going to reverse the motor. It doesn't turn it off, it just reverses it. And then it changes its one light off, two lights off, and then it just keeps reversing it. It's just using the toggle on off feature. It's not actually doing t on or off. And it's interesting how this is set up. It's set up just like your hot bar here. We go to set up actions and then you just change your things here. Like it's actually showing you the status here, like uh, reverse the rotor, toggle block on off for the lights, and then I just need to go back to the timer block, but the timer block's got a delay on it so does all this stuff, talk, triggers this, and then just waits another second before it goes to the program again. Basically, and end this loop. And that's what I plan on doing today, because today I want to I wanna take another chance at a, walk, at a walker. I have done a few of these before, or I've attempted a few of these before, but without the best success, uh, we're going to go with a small variation on this. Now, this is going to be a relatively simple build. Let me uh, reset that. Uh, that's the wrong button. Not that it matters, I'm just using this as uh, as my jack. It's going to be a little lopsided, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, uh, hang on. And that's the best thing about recording. When you uh, forget what you say, you can always go back and remember what you said. So I'm trying to figure out how tall I wanted this thing. Because um, I'm going to be using the landing gear as feet. I'm going to be using this as part of the walking mechanism. I can't tell if that's backwards or not. I can't. Don't really care to be honest. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go up, and I'm thinking, because what I want to do, the way it's gonna walk, there's gonna have to be, I'll call them joints. Yeah, there technically they will be joints, but I'm not using hinges. I'm gonna be using the advanced rotors. Uh, okay, that looked a little different. Is this actually a small block variation of it? No. Hmm. Oh, okay, we're going to have to use the regular rotors then. Yeah, I didn't know the advanced rotor was so big for the small block. But anyways, uh, yeah, all this really is going to be is just a whole bunch of rotors with limitations set. And a timer block that's going to basically reverse everything at the same time. So they will be set up in opposite directions. And just go, go from there. So I will need one for the rotor that's uh, we're gonna have to go hmm. let me think about this actually there's something i want to test here just make sure it's actually gonna work go back to here and yes it does stay at the regular rotor uh what i want to do is i want to see if these see the hitbox on these things now i should be able to place a block on here yes so i want to actually just go with the slope uh, block for now, and I want to do a slope. Yes, locking them does help. That's fine because I just want to see if this is actually gonna. That's gonna actually interfere, and it's not good. All right, that's all I wanted to know. That makes things a little bit easier, so that way that it doesn't have to be super tight. Uh, what I will have to do when I start building this thing, of course, is put a uh, control panel on here. And that's because none of the locks I'm going to put on here is actually going to have a terminal access. Uh, we'll put it here for now. And yes, I actually went up to the ship and I got some more uranium. I put another 100 in there, so it should be good for now. I like how that gets in set like that. And I'll have to put another one of these on after I finish building this. Alright, so, that being said, so it's going to be... Oh, one and the ankle's gonna have to be here I think not unless I can actually attach blocks to the side of this and that's not a block that's a block nope can't place it on the landing gear itself all right so he's gonna have to be a little bit taller so we're gonna have to go up uh, I probably want to have at least four in between the joints so it's going to be, the ankle is going to be three, one, two, three. And we'll go another three, two, three. 
And another like so up to the waist. Go a couple more. If he drops down, it's fine because you know the land of gear and they're gonna be activated. Alright, so that's gonna be the ankle there. It's gonna be the, the shin. That's gonna be the knee. And I'll go up a couple more. I'm gonna be a little tall, but that works. And this right here isn't actually the structure, this is just a just a skeleton to work off of, or a, a frame, as you will. So, this is going to be a starting point. Uh, I'm not going to fill it out completely. We're going to give him a little bit of color, at least. Start him off with some blue jeans. Like so. And, yeah, so as far as the, the hips go, like I really only need to go, like, three, and then put the rotor on the end. Like so. I might even go five just to give enough room. So let me get a basic frame laid out with the rotors and all that stuff, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so here's what I got. So uh, we've got ankles, we've got knees, and we've got hips. And I have I have actually labeled them. So we got uh, left knee, hip, ankle, left ankle, uh, right ankle, hip, knee. And what's going to happen is basically, like I said, they're going to be going in opposite directions, but I'm going to have the timing set up so it sort of works like actual walking yeah and i also like to try to get some sort of realism in my builds even though this is highly unrealistic and not even close to being reality here but i would thinking about getting some like uh, some arms sort of swinging uh what i will be doing too i forgot to mention this uh, with the timing of the legs i will be locking and unlocking the the landing gear and that's just a get some sort of footing on the ground uh, as far as how much the landing you can actually take before it breaks I have no idea so now we just gotta get a bit of a spine oh that's a slope that's not a block that's a block I'm gonna try to keep this lightweight I also want to get the reactor in here somewhere too and I was thinking I think we'll use the reactor as like a heart so we'll go here we'll go to the reactor and we'll change the color to a nice bright red just because and I like the reactor because you can actually place it sideways. So we'll access the fuel from the back. And we'll go ahead and grab this color here. We'll go back to the blocks. One, two, and... Hmm. Let me see. Oh, that's too far out. Yeah, oh, key's not working. <laughs> really should buy a new keyboard. I know I say that all the time. Yeah, we can go a little higher. We can actually go a lot higher. Okay, get out of here, and I'm going to keep going up. So I'm going to go up, get some shoulders in, and if I do get the arms in, it'll either be just the shoulders, or I might get the elbows in too. Uh, it does get kind of bulky, but we'll see how it goes. So I shall be right back. Okay, there's the upper body, upper body I should say. i got the reactor down here, probably could add a little bit higher, but... Whatever, it's there. Uh, now for gyros. And I've been thinking about putting two gyros in here just because I don't think it's going to really do much. But we're going to put one here and we're going to put one here. Give it a little something under the armpits there just because I need more steel plates. Surprise, surprise. All right, so now all I really got left to do is put a head on it. And uh, I've been thinking for the head, I'm going to actually put an antenna on it so I can keep an eye on this guy because once he starts walking, he may never return. All right, so we'll go back to the armor block there, and then I guess we'll just put the antenna right on top. Uh, where is the antenna? Not on the hot bar, of course. We'll go here, and sure, that's its head. There we go. So, but all it's left to do really is get the timing of everything set up. I do have everything set up to uh, 400 kilonewton, or yeah, 400,000 newton meters, whatever, of breaking force, and yeah, so all it's really left to do is just get all the timing done, and I will be right back. Needless to say, I'll be right back is something I don't have to say because it's just a matter of me stopping and stopping recording. Anyways, uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to fire this, uh, get some fuel in here, and then uh, i got to go and set the limitations on the rotors because that's how this is going to work. It's going to be like the hip's only going to go up about maybe 10, 15 degrees. 
and so on and so forth, I might actually be able to, you know, do the numbers manually instead of actually having to fumble with the controls. I love that little sound. That's cool. Okay, so now let's uh, let's actually start with the hips, and I do have it not there. I think for the the sake of this, I might actually put another terminal here just so I can see what I'm doing while I'm doing it. So I'm not going back and forth out of the menu all the time. Okay, we'll do that. And we will put that there for now so I can see what I'm doing. Now I also want to be able to access this terminal so I can actually see the object. And that's not going to work. I'll do it there. I'm also out of harm's way, which is good. Now, since I have everything labeled, I actually know what's what. And what I will do, just to make things easier, one, two, three, four, five, get okay, ten. I'm going to group all these just in case I need to adjust sp the speed settings or braking or something like that. Actually, we'll call this what they actually are. We'll call it joints. Mechanical joints, not the other kind. Anyway, so that is that. So now. Uh, let's start with the left hip, actually. Let's uh, back up a little bit if I can. Because I want to actually see what it's doing. That's not going to work. That's not going to work either. Got to get a little closer. You get the idea. Uh, Alright, so you go to left hip. So as far as these limits are... Like I'm assuming Okay, let's try something here. Three fifty five. I can actually look at the numbers on these things too and go by that. So what's at zero? Oh, there's actually a line there so I can actually tell you where it is. So zero to fifteen should do it. Whoa, that's uh, a little aggressive on the jetpack there. Okay, left hip. All right, so the minimum or the lower limit is going to be zero. I know I could do this manually, and I probably should. Nope. I don't know why my num lock was off. All right, and then the upper limit will be 15. So now, if we go ahead and power that one rotor, so I can get in there. There we go. Left hip and velocity. That's okay. That's too much velocity. So basically, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna adjust this, and I could probably adjust this on the fly. I just thought about this now. Energy low. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, look at that! Change it on the fly. Oh God. Uh, Crazy things just went in my head about that. But anyways, so yeah, that's going to be pretty simple then. Uh, it's going to be a little tricky because I have the rotors sort of alternated somewhat. So let me get this all configured and then uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, I think I got something here. Uh, the movements could be a little bit better, but what do you expect? Uh, we'll see how it actually walks. I'm seeing some scraping, but it's awfully low to the ground. So now we get a timer block in here. Uh, this is a timer block. Yes, it is. And I... Realized I probably should have put it on his head somewhere. So we'll just take the antenna off. And we'll put the timer block. And I don't know why, but for some reason my color keeps changing to yellow. I have not figured out why that's happening, but... Eh. At least you can see it. Alright, now where is that antenna? Okay. You know, I was looking around for the, the button panel. I was obviously using that to uh, test, uh, test out the timing and all that stuff. And I was looking for it, I was like, well, where is it? And it didn't even occur to me that the small button panel was actually the big button panel, the big long one, but it's only one button. But with that being said, so now we go up to here, go up to, it's a good thing I have a control panel on this thing. Ow. All right, now what I need to do is I also need to figure out which gear to be locked. Because that's to be pushing forward, so that one has to be locked. So that is going to be, ooh, mm. 
Let's see if it's this one. Nope, that's the other one. It does even tell me. I guess it has to be on the ground for it to actually walk. Well, one easy way to do this is uh, take this one off. So I'll have to go back into my hole there and I definitely got to fill that thing in. All right, so now we can go over here. Uh, this line here is just the one that the yellow one. So let's see, I took the right one off, so this is the left foot. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. And it does have auto lock, actually, that might come in handy. No, I'm going to turn the auto lock off. I think that'd be the smartest thing to do. Uh, just so I can get things working the way I want them to. Alright, where is that gear? There we go. Take the gear. We'll make it blue, just because. Or we can do it red, the, uh, the robot with one red shoe. Okay, so that's going to be the right foot. I mean, this is just for clarification for me. Okay. And then we'll take those. We'll group those together as feet. Save that. And so the left foot is down. So the left foot we have to lock. Okay, we'll lock that. Turn auto lock off of that. And save with the right foot. So now in theory... I go to the timer. Actually, I gotta go to the timer through here. Go to the timer block. Let's go set up actions, groups. And it's just basically reverse and switch lock. Okay, and then we go to, let's go to, uh, okay, one second delay. Oh, Ashley, there's one other thing I forgot to do here. Go back to the timer block. All right, let's see what happens here. Needs more time. That is doable. Uh, oh yeah, control panel is here. Uh, timer block. And this is just because I got the speed set at a certain thing. So we'll set this to about two seconds and see what happens. Almost doable. Well, now we save and let, let them free. All right. Uh, in fact, I should put a button up here so I can toggle it. There and stop. All right. Okay, now let's get another button up here. Uh, where are you? There you are. And sure, a little blue button on the back. Okay, and you are just going to be basically uh, there's no start stop thing. Hmm, one of those toggle block on and off. Let's actually try that. Okay, so we're going here. Let's uh. Go to timer block, start that. Takes two seconds to get going. And I want to see if that's actually going to stop it and start it back up again. Okay, it does. Perfect. All right, now for save. And let's cut it free. I hope that leg locks. No. It was supposed to lock. Oh, I guess I need auto lock. All right, let's try this again. Okay, we're gonna do things a little bit differently here. Uh, I need to match man can manually control the feet. So I'm gonna put two timer blocks on here. And again, it goes back to yellow. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Let's uh. 
from block two. Let's name that left, just because. All right, and then we'll put another one on top and name that right. On top, not in front. All right, timer block, and we'll name that to right. And this is just, oh, what did I do? Show one hide, yes, don't need that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fill these in. Oh, I gotta put that antenna back on too. Okay, so now, what we're going to do, uh, let's see. I'm going to figure out which way it is right now. So the first one is going to be unlock the right and reverse. That's not what I'm looking for. Yes. All right. So let's see. We'll start with right then. Right. All right. We'll uh, change the delay on this to two seconds. The actions will be joints, reverse, and blocks. Uh, right foot unlock. Oh, hang on. And then, uh, so joints, right foot unlock. Then we go to left. Now it's going to trigger that one. And go to left. It's going to be the same thing. It's going to be reverse the, reverse the joints. And then we unlock the left foot. Unlock and we go to back to right. Okay, and now I gotta just change the feet. Feet. Uh, auto lock. All right, now for another save and cut it free. If you can get that one here. So far, so good. Oh, yeah. I guess I gotta start it up first. Oh, uh, I guess I can, can't configure that once it's in. All right, uh, where is that button panel? Let's uh, set up actions. question is, which one are we on? What was going to trigger first? The right. Alright, let's see if this works. Oh, I got to change the delay on that. Okay, right, to left, Now, what did you do that for? All right, let's try this again. Okay, again. Okay, he's on the ground. Good. No, oh, I never did how she did set that up. Uh, let me actually. Just gonna check something here. Uh, right foot unlock. Okay, and that was on right. All right, so we'll just set that up onto uh, the button panel. That's what I'm looking for. Yes. All right. Not that it matters. Cause I don't actually have a way to stop this, but either way. Fun's fun. Yeah. Okay, I need to get to lean forward a little more. All right, let's try that. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, what I did is I got the ankle to go back a little more so he gets more of a lean forward when he walks. It walks, I should say. And I have saved. 
He already wants to go. Ha ha ha. All right. Yeah. Leans over. Oh my god, he's got broken ankles. Hmm. Fortunately, I got time. It's almost like the timing's out or something. That's weird. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, of course, I can't get to any terminal. I'll have to reload the save and do it from there. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of tweaking adjustments and all sorts of stuff, trying to make uh, changes, and I, I figured out what was going on. Basically, what was going on is that foot was coming up before that foot got was put down. So more or less, you can, can't, can't walk with both feet off the ground. So uh, one of them wasn't actually getting locked before the other one lifted up, and that's why he tipped over. So even though it's been saved twice, I'm going to do another save, and we're going to untether this and see what happens. Okay, let's do this. Fun part of the job. I'm going to get to bring up the saw. Uh, and... Let's get that tail off. He doesn't need it, and let's see what happens. Yeah. That's where saves come in handy. Okay, and because I recorded this, I can actually watch it over and over and over again and find exactly what happened. So what happened is when this foot went down, uh, the ankle was leaning forward too quick and didn't give this foot enough time to get ahead. So there's two things I'm going to try. One is I'm going to try changing the, the actual range that the, the ankle goes. Um, now, when I'm doing this, i got to make sure that... If it is set at an angle, I have to reverse it back to zero. Because if I change that number, then it just keeps on going until it hits that number again. Yes, I know this from experience. So I originally had this 25, so let's try 25 again. I know it's negative 25, but it'll change to 25 when it's reversed. Now here on the right angle, ankle, because it's already at the 28 degrees, i got to reverse it. You can actually see it over there. And I'm going to change this to 25. And I gotta make sure to reverse it again so it goes back into the position that, one, that I need. And then another thing I'm gonna try, I was trying to get fractions in on those timer blocks, but one and three quarter seconds doesn't, isn't one and three quarter seconds, unfortunately. Uh, the only thing I could try would be the speed. I already have them down quite a bit already. I had to lower them down, they were getting little excessive. Let's try changing that to two. And this one to two. And do a save. And I really should look at uh, extending the number of backup saves that I have because me doing it something like this, doing six saves in a row, uh, I tend to lose any further back in case I ever need them. But let's try this again. All right, so that foot's locked. It does seem to be leaning forward a little bit. Oh. I have gyroscopes on there. I'm wondering if that's got something to do with it. All right. And I, so I should also look at the auto save times, too. All right. A few more adjustments. Uh, I kept it at the 2 RPM, but I changed it back to 27. Again, it was the same thing where that foot didn't actually touch the ground. Uh, because of the fact that I haven't set to auto lock, and all I'm doing is unlocking it when he goes to take the step. That's what's going on. I'm going to hit that magic button. And let's see what happens. See, again, not quite. It's walking too fast. I'm going to reload and we're going to try changing the time on the timer block. Okay, so I'm in the list here. So right now I have it for a two second delay. Uh, even though it does show a fraction, it doesn't work, so I'm going to go ahead with three seconds, which is a little long, but you know what? This is just uh, the beginning. This is me getting my feet wet, the stepping stone to bigger and greater things. And it's just giving me some hands-on experience with the actual blocks. So now another save. 
and cut away. I did actually turn my jetpack on that time. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so it's at 27 degrees. Okay, I made a couple more changes, just some minor ones, uh, like uh, increasing the distance that the hips move and setting the ankles back to 30 degrees. So let's give this a shot. This is what it's all really about. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Almost. I wonder if I adjust the breaking force if that'll help. Maybe that's what happens. It starts sleeping forward and the brakes can't handle it. Let me try that. Okay, so I changed the braking torque to 1 million uh, Newton meters to, on all of them. And I've got to do a save. Actually, no, it doesn't matter because this may not work anyways. But let's try it anyways and see what happens. See, I'm hoping that it'll stop that lean. Let's see what happens here. See, that's the problem is it only seems to work when he actually gets his foot planted. Hmm. That's another one too, he's trying to get those the feet to be on a proper angle and also getting one to actually lift. I need to think about this. Alright, there's one more thing I'm going to try and then I'm just going to uh, put this one aside and give it a rest, but I've changed it so they're not auto lock anymore, so I actually have to physically unlock that one and lock that one before it takes a step. Because I well, did a couple more runs and it seemed to, as soon as it unlocked, it locked again, so maybe this will do it let's find out all right we go hit that button and it falls over because it doesn't lock right away hmm okay i'm gonna try one more thing here uh i just put an extra 10 degrees on the backstroke on the hips i know it's not going to do much but we'll try it anyways and i do have to adjust this these ankles a little bit more it's at 30, so I'll probably go 35. Okay, and then the left angle is going to go negative 35. Okay. All right. Let's cut her free. I did keep them on auto lock. I never did save that save. Oh, hello, physics. It's been a while since I've seen you. We're going to have some good fun in this series. Almost. Almost. Not exactly the best place to walk either, but uh, bipedals have always been a tricky one. I've almost thought about even trying to put, like, uh, atmospheric thrusters and using the override to try to keep it and keep it up. Uh, let me load the save back up. All right. Well, I thought I'd give the, give this a shot anyway. See if we can get some sort of support on the top section here. I did put an atmospheric thruster in there. I know it's not going to be enough to lift this thing. Uh, we're going to go with ten kilonewtons right now. I already did a, a save, so let's see what happens. We're either going to have a rocket man, or it's going to do it in a face plant. Either way, it's going to be funny. Uh, maybe we'll bring that up a little bit. Oh, we're getting that wobble. Getting that wobble. Sort of. Let's see if I can get in here and change it. Oh, too late. He fell on me. Yeah, let's try that again. Okay, I've rounded up to 45 kilonewtons. 
I have absolutely no idea how much it, how many killing newtons it's going to take to take this, left this thing off the ground, but... Kind of float it down gently. Yeah, it's still too heavy. Should probably have another one on the front. And there he goes. He's giving himself road rash. Well, I think this would be a good time to call the episode. Definitely. Always end with a bang, huh? Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.